Welcome to part one of Wireless Radiation. The time for the truth is now. This video is called Why Take Wireless Radiation Seriously? So without further ado, here are the seven reasons why wireless radiation deserves your serious attention. Number one, it's everywhere and it's always on. You cannot get away from radiation in your life today. At work, at home, at school, on the bus, in the airport, in this digital age, wireless data runs our lives. And you have no choice. There's passive radiation, which you sleep through or walk through. And then there's active radiation. As your devices connect to a cell tower or a Wi-Fi router and search for data, the levels can go very high indeed. Which brings us on to number two. The volumes of radiation are off the charts. Take a look at this video. So we're at about 8,900 microwatts, 670 microwatts. Yeah, and let's take it closer to the phone. There we go. And we're now looking at 396 milliwatts OL overload. Uh, that's a lot. That's 287 milliwatts there. That's 287,000 microwatts. Um, 429,000 microwatts. Um, so those are those are really big numbers coming into the phone there. Yeah. A radio frequency meter shows radiation as power density, which is the amount of watts per square meter, basically the amount of energy in one square meter. When it's held one meter away from a phone, the reading here is 670 microwatts per square meter, which is already quite high. When it's brought next to a phone, which is playing a video, the reading jumps to 429,000 microwatts, and it even goes into overload after that. So the reading jumped by 640 times or more. A reading of 429,000 microwatts is way above the safety levels, which were actually set way back in 1996. In fact, some scientists argue that the biological effects start at just 100 microwatts. So do you know what the safety levels are? It's important to know this, and we'll cover this detail in video two of this series. The devices we use are extremely powerful and they're processing very high levels of radiation. You can buy an EMF meter to see what you're exposed to, but one key researcher, Ole Johansson, has calculated that we now have one quintillion times more radiation passing through our bodies than before the times of mobile phones. And that's before 5G even arrives. There are over 6,000 peer-reviewed studies showing that disease is caused by wireless radiation, and that's at 4G levels, and 5G is going to increase this by 30 to 50 times. Number three, the three factors, proximity, exposure, and strength of signal. Guess what? You're maxing out on all three of them. Proximity, you touch your phones, your tablets, or your laptops, or your smartwatches on your wrist all day. Exposure, you use your devices for most of the day. And as we've just seen, for strength of signal, the radiation levels are off the charts. Number four, device audit. Do an audit of your home and your life. What devices do you own? Many households have over 15 connected devices. Each one is carrying radiation. It creates a network of electromagnetic vibes. But wait, isn't the Internet of Things coming in soon too? So you can add your toaster, your fridge, your washing machine to that list. For all those times that you really needed to talk to your washing machine while you were out at the office. I mean, really? Compare your home to when you were a kid. Is it safe to have all these devices radiating 24-7? We're going to find out in this series. Number five, evolution. We've only had these devices in our pockets for about 20 years. The human body has never had to put up with this level of radiation. And sometimes we forget that we're not machines. But crucially, the body has no internal sensor for microwave heat. So whereas over thousands of years we've developed a sensor to detect external heat so that we know when we put our hand on a stove that the heat is going to burn the skin, there's nothing inside the body that detects the heat from microwave radiation that is starting to fry you from the inside. 
Now we know from using microwave ovens that microwaves cook food from the inside out. And is the same thing happening to your brain? All the thermal images suggest that it is, but you don't have a sensor in your body that picks this up. Number six, assumption. Because to assume makes an ass out of you and me. Radiation in other forms is known to be dangerous, like x-rays. So we assume that phones are safe because no one has told us otherwise. It's convenient, but is it lazy? People forget that we're still in very early adoption phase. If you assume that you're safe, you may be taking a big risk. When are you going to find out about this risk? Well, it could be when disease shows up in your body, because that's how disease works. The body can tolerate a toxin for quite a while before it gives in and then something pops up. Let's have a look at this assumption in real life. In January 2020, Roberto Romeo won a landmark case in an Italian court. They ruled that a brain tumour was caused by 15 years of using a mobile phone. This is what we're talking about. Radiation that was assumed to be non-ionising and therefore safe is now being proven to be toxic and harmful. In this series, we'll be explaining why this is happening and what to do to reverse these effects. Number seven is the unknown. We're in a situation that is alarmingly similar to when cigarettes came out on the scene. No one knew the risks. Doctors said it was fine. Doctors appeared on ads saying it was fine. And when it was announced that smoking was toxic, it was kind of obvious. But today, everyone is passive smoking. Active smokers are starting in their teens or earlier. Your body doesn't get a break. You have no choice. And nor does a child. And we're going to show later that children are at a far higher risk than adults. So there you go, the seven factors. We hope that you now understand that this is a subject you really need to take seriously. But don't worry, this video series gives you all the information you need to know to make good decisions. In the next video, we look at who decides whether radiation is safe. And crucially, have they got it right? Thanks for watching. To see video two, please send us an email with the title Truth to hello at omniabalance.life. Or you can subscribe to our channel for all our latest videos.